But first, we're talking discipline, a workshop for the community. After that incident between a mom and her son at Homer Drive Elementary School, the video that went viral. Viral everywhere. It's a video we decided not to share because we want to protect the child. 12 News reporter Jordan James went to that BISD workshop and Jordan joins us live. Tonight's forum did not focus on that viral video. Instead, administrators told parents some of the things they're already doing to deal with student discipline. The behaviors that we see in our school are reflected in Beaumont, Texas. Do you realize that? Hundreds packed the Beaumont ISD boardroom Monday night to address what has become a troubling trend among students, discipline. It's just gotten out of hand. It's right where the kids have just, some of them have just taken over the classroom. We definitely have to do something to make our schools better for these kids. Jackie Dole is a former substitute with BISD. She says what she witnessed while subbing has her concerned about her grandson's future. I don't want him to go through the, the uh, problems where the kids are taking over the classroom, they're fighting, and they are so disruptive until my child can't learn. Beaumont ISD reported that they had roughly 37,000 discipline infractions last school year. Right now they're at about 7,000 for the year. Despite the decrease, Dr. Shannon Allen says everyone has to do better. We cannot just put kids out of school because of the behaviors that they exhibit. We have to figure out a better way as a district and a community to help and work with our kids. Allen also addressed the video taken at Homer Drive Elementary a few weeks ago where a parent repeatedly hit her son with a belt. We had an incident that went viral at one of our schools where the language that our kids hear. So the behaviors and the things that they see outside of school, they bring it into school. That's a reflection of Beaumont, Texas. So we have a community issue. For parents like Tony Walker, tonight was about reaffirming his belief on how to raise his son. What happens and how your kid is raised at home and what values and what environment they have at home is going to be the same attitude and, and uh, actions that they bring with them to school. Dr. Allen says the district will work to be more transparent with parents. They're going to do so by ha by creating a breakdown of, of disruptions that are happening at campus by campus. Reporting here in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.